Welcome to Styling Videos. Today we are talking about our summer collection, the one that just launched. We're calling it Summer Haze. And look who is back. Hey y'all. Um, will you just introduce yourself and talk about like your measurements? <laughs> my name is Andrea. I'm 5'10 and my measurements are 36, 29, 42. Yeah, so for most everything we have for her in today is the small medium for tops and Bottoms are medium, regular length. I think actually, yeah, medium, regular length. And then you have the bathing suit. You are in medium and medium. All right. So let's get ready for summer. <laughs> We're very excited to show you the Lucy dress because this is a new style for us. Um, if you will hold your arms out by your side, you can sort of see it's very simple. It's a very geometric dress, but when you're wearing it, there's so much body to it that it drapes in really nice ways and it's really soft. Um, there's two side pockets, big easy open neck, and slits at the side. Um, so you can take extra wide steps. We hand painted a stripe in teal on the front. It's a nice like three or four inch stripe, um, a wider stripe than we normally do. And front and back are the same. This sample actually has a different color back just because um, sometimes we just out of the wrong fabric <laughs> just so we can make them faster but this is a um, just a sample we made for the shoot but um so the front is the same the back will be the same as this front but um yeah it's just a really easy dress i think you could make this feel really elegant but you could also have it feel really functional have it actually be really functional and wear it to the beach or to the pool um it's a, essentially a towel do you make this nice where well where would you wear this Oh my gosh, definitely to the pool, definitely in my house. I feel like I could wear it like as a rope, you know, oh. in my house. Just like throw it on as a house dress and like, like naked. Yeah. Like just like that. wake up, throw it on, yeah. cook breakfast, oh. then get dressed like later. So this is our swing skirt and hammock and the penny in a really great black and white jersey. This penny is actually, I'd say, one of the top two most popular pieces from this last launch. Pennies are just such a great, easy shirt to wear. They have um, a bigger armhole, so it's just really breezy. Uh, I know when it gets hot, I just don't really like clothes to touch me mm -hmm. in the south. Um, so this, it, because of the, sh the cut of the penny, it sort of oh, hangs away from you just a little bit. I find them very breezy, great for airflow. Um, you can do no bra little cute bra that purposefully shows um, really any type of like under thing. Here we have the bathing suit under it. I love this fabric so much because on the raw edges of this fabric, it has such a great roll to it. It feels almost like a vintage like hefty t-shirt weight. Um, so we have it here with a swing skirt, triple tier gathered skirt, very dramatic. We um, have made this out of a cotton gauze, a fabric that we use and we talk about, and if you've watched any of these videos, you've heard me talk about it a million times, but we love this fabric and it takes paint so beautifully. And we did a sort of mismatched stripe in a great Kelly green, which is a color we just can't stop making stuff in. And um, there's two side pockets, an elastic waist, and I just love this skirt. I feel like this is a skirt you could have in your closet for years and years and if you find new ways to wear it and special events to wear it to it's the kind of thing that you wear and you're like you're like the cool person at the wedding and people are like who's that who's that in the green and white skirt um and that's pretty much why we make clothes is so <laughs> you guys can be the cool person at the wedding um i think the skirt could get you there but you could also can you just take this take your penny off yeah let's just do it I love this outfit. This is like, I mean, this is like cool girl at the outdoor concert. Ooh. You know, it's like a good concert. You do. Gotta look cool. She puts on great concerts. Um, her band is called Cicada Rhythm. <laughs> you should look it up. Um, but I love the bathing suit top as a shirt. Uh, it's kind of like shirt and bra in one for for many, probably. Um, Anyways, great length gives you a tiny bit of midriff, but I always love pairing a tight fitted top with these bigger skirts with lots of volume. Um, I think it, it's just great balance. I would like to introduce you to our shorties. These are the first ever state shorts, um, and full disclosure.
disclosure, I am not a shorts person, but Abby, who is our production manager and is like my right hand at State, loves shorts. Um, wears them all the time, looks amazing. So I was like, run with it. These are just whatever your dream shorts are. And so this is what came out and they are really adorable. I mean, I'm almost worried how many more we're gonna sell and make from this video because they just look so, <laughs> so they look really good. Um, it's this super lightweight cotton seersucker fabric and it's like a red and a cream, but the red is really muted, so it's like a dusty red. And it's just the sweetest little plaid. And then this, the seaming detail on the sides, it's a bound edge that's scalloped and layered, so it feels very much like, like a vintage athletic short. Um, gives a nice little like peekaboo of the thigh. And then we bound them in a hand-painted stripe that has been over dyed. So it's like a beautiful like cobalt blue with a like mint green stripe. There's an elastic waistband. Um, they'll fit a little high, just like there's, you know, very similar to like our sweaters would fit. They're just great. You could do all kinds of stuff. You could wear these to the farmer's market. You could wear them anywhere, but you could also like play pickleball and look great. Why not? If I'm playing pickleball, the first thing I'm thinking is what I'm wearing. Um, yes. I mean, that's the first thing we're always thinking. Right. <laughs> this shirt. I can't, I really can't believe we made this shirt <laughs> because it's, it's just really ridiculous. But we started leaning into the inspiration for this collection and um, wanting it to be a very indulgent, like ode to nostalgic vacations. Um, this shirt just, it just had to happen. And then it just kept like, we just kept like over extra in ourselves, like let's make it neon and then like, let's add beads and let's <laughs> add, you know, custom, it's write your name on it. It's really fun to do um, and we were like, is anyone going to want this with their name on it? And you do. Um, we have a list of custom ones that we are making, and we're just really excited that these will be out in the world. And you can get this shirt with or without the beads. This one has the beads. I don't know if you can hear it. It makes a delightful little ticking noise. Um, it also has a great weight to it. Um, it's a really fantastic single layer thin jersey fabric in like a very true neon fluorescent yellow. It's, it feels like it's glowing. Um, then each is hand airbrushed by Alex. It has a drop shadow, so there's like a teal drop shadow right behind it. And then um, just all the French got my hands. Um, the bottom is hand painted with the neon orange. So it's like this like glowy sunset. And then the top, it's it's topped off with a hand-painted striped ringer neck um, in a black and white that's super graphic and just felt like it made a lot of sense on this ridiculous shirt. Um, I think this is just so fun to wear. I think you can style it in so many different ways. Uh, you could wear it with shorts over your bathing suit. You could wear it with jeans, jean shorts. I mean, leggings. One of the things you could wear this shirt, this shirt with are these sweaters. Um, this is the very first piece we designed for this collection. I love it so much. Um, they're just really cool. And they're even better in person because the texture of this fabric is so great. And then the stamp on the fabric, it just has, it just looks really nice. It looks like rich and just like, it's like gushy. I don't know. There's really no way to describe it. Um, I think this is why we're obsessed with hand painting and hand printing and doing everything that we can keep it as handmade as possible because you can just, there's such a difference when you see it um, compared to like a digital print, which we are dabbling into, but uh, when we do it, we can't help but paint on top of the digital print <laughs> because we just want it to look really authentic. And these pants are the epitome of that quality when you see them. Um, each of these stamps is cut by hand and then stamped by hand. So basically each one's like painted and then pressed and hands um, spaced just by eye. These are swears. They're made out of the hemp jersey that we love so much that has a little bit of slub to the weave. So it's like a mid-weight jersey. Um, it's stretchy, but it has a structure to it that is really lovely in the swears because they just look really architectural, but then also really soft. Um, they have an elastic waistband, two side pockets, as all our swears do. And uh, yeah, I think that these could be great 
year round. I think you could do some really cool um, like winter white looks with this guy and um, you could really be really minimal and pair it with a lot of other like whites and creams um, so the flowers feel really special. Or you could go and do something really maximalist and put a neon fringed and beaded airbrush shirt with your name on it with them, <laughs> just as an example. Um, but yeah, I love these pants. I think that they're just like timeless, interesting, and uh, will be a great addition to lots of wardrobes, I hope. Oh yeah. That's oh, we totally wear this. <laughs> what I love so much is how perfectly they match, like the white, like this like specific shade of cream is the exact same in both cases, um, which we totally intended on doing. Um, it's just, just such a cool look. I feel like this you could wear this 500 times in your life, but then you could also break them up and wear them both in like so many different ways. It's also fun. I like. I love this pop of color coming out, so it's like a pretty nice different on this yeah. side. This is our summer jumper that we made. I love this guy. Um, we named this color Afternoon Aloe because I feel like this is the exact item of clothing that you want to put in, put on after like a day spent out at the beach or on the boat or in gardening, anywhere where you come in and you're like, you know when you come in in the summer and you, you, you can't see when you walk inside? It's such a specific feeling and you're hot and you really need water. You strip everything off because like even your underwear are sweaty and then you just put this guy on and then you just hang out and this is you can just live in this thing and watch like a daytime movie like a lifetime movie yes it's a really specific feeling I feel like it might be a universal feeling I don't know it's a new jersey that we are using and we love it so I think it's probably the first of lots of things that we'll make out of it but um, it's a beautiful color it's like a deep jade color and we bound all of the edges at the tops of two armholes in the neck hole with color blocked ribbing in really great primary colors. Um, so it's reversible, you can switch it around and mix it up uh, depending on the outfit that you're going for. But it's just a great easy piece. I think you could wear this many months out of the year because of the weight of it. I think it's equally light enough and heavy enough to, uh, to be very useful in your wardrobe. Um, here we just have it with the bathing suit underneath, uh, so you can just see the lines of it, but you can easily put a t-shirt. I think a fitted t-shirt would be great under it. Colder months you could put a long sleeve shirt, button down. Um, or a hoodie, you know, you get that hood action. That would be so cute. Yeah. I can't imagine that now, but I like that. <laughs> I love that. Um, yeah, it's just a super easy piece. It has two side pockets, easy wide legs, raw hems at the bottom so it's just like really light that is it where would you wear that oh i mean i'm i'm digging what you're saying uh cooling off after being hot outside but i have a dress that i love that has these huge um holes and i would just wear a bra and it's my summer staple because you just get air you get air here you get air from the bottom you get air from the top and and but you still feel like you're clothed and it's not like super revealing you know like definitely would wear this just on a super hot day every day we did not make a summer collection and introduce our first ever state bathing suit without making a cover-up we've used this mesh before we love it it's really cool lightweight Easy breezy, you know, lots of holes as mesh usually has. Um, and here we have screen printed on it, which was, you may have seen our brains exploding wherever you live. Um, but once we did it, we were just like, oh my God, this is so cool because all of the graphics have are perforated and have holes in them now, and it just looks really cool. Um, it moves really well too. Like, yeah, it's just, it's flouncy. I feel, I feel like it's echoing all my movements. It just, really cool well it's, it's such a like a it's such a paradox because it's there's something really sporty about it because of the mesh that feels like mm -hmm. a jersey but then the printing makes it really cool and graphic and like a little edgy but then yeah the drape of it and the shape and the movement
none of it are really elegant. So I think right. it's like, it's, it is a hard one to wrap your head around, but I think that's what's been so fun seeing people wear it is like, you can do so many things with this piece because it's kind of like, it's, you can't box it in. This is our first bathing suit. We have been wanting to make a bathing suit for years, literally, um, and it's really satisfying to see it. And it's awesome, and it looks so good on everybody, and it's just, it's really satisfying. Um, so this is our buoy colorway, which is really fun to say. We're just in the office saying like, buoy, buoy, buoy. Like, <laughs> it's just a really good word, and it's really nice to have a reason to say it often right now but it's a beautiful little colorway it's like a bright red which you know we love paired with a periwinkle sort of like bluey purpley dusty color um it's mismatched so it's kind of like checkerboard um you can flip the top around so it, well first of all both of these are based off of our britches and our tank patterns which we make in cotton um and for years wanted to and also been asked to make them into bathing suits so it's so similar to those fits so you know the britches are gonna fit high-waisted the leg is gonna be like you know pretty good coverage but also like just that right angle so it feels like sexy and like a little pinupy. and then our tank is gonna almost meet it um, depending on how long of a waist you have it'll either meet it touch it or have more of a gap um, but you can flip the tank forward and backwards. So the front is the front, one side has like a little bit more of a lower scoop, and then the back side or the other side has a higher higher back if you want more coverage in your front. Um, I really love that because I don't like getting a lot of sun on my back um, when you're like digging in the sand or whatever. You know? <laughs> um, I, had to, I had to have something removed back there. It's just, you know, you gotta protect your skin. Self-lined, which means it's the same fabric on the inside and the outside, so it's two layers, which is great. It's not gonna show a bunch of like texture or, you know, lumps and bumps. Um, I, I feel held, but not trapped. It's it's just, it's like... That's like any good relationship. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, <laughs> yes. It's just kind of glazing over my body, but still um, giving me a little bit of compression. Yeah. And, um, the seams are not digging or cutting in, which is always my issue with, with bathing suits, nice. you know? So these, it's just really floating over the parts of me that I don't want bulging out. Um, so yeah. yeah. You, you say that perfectly because I feel like, that's how I feel about it. I'm, like I'll get, yeah. well, I will get like, I'll size up and stuff just so it doesn't squeeze mm -hmm. me. Um, Cause it's like just that little shift. You're like, oh, I actually just feel really comfortable and confident in this right. rather than feeling like this doesn't fit me. Mm -hmm. And it's just like a little shift of like, oh, let me just get a different size and, um, and I feel better. Um, so this also comes in another colorway. It's called Firefly and that is a like a dark, like peat color paired with a bright neon yellow green. And it's so cool and it's so fun to mix and match them, um, but we could not find sample in that colorway in the size for this video uh, but you can see that colorway online um, people have bought the full suit in buoy people have bought the full suit in firefly people have mixed and matched people have bought just one top or just one bottom i love doing that in my own closet having bathing suits like i have like a bathing suit um top that was my mom's like back in like the 70s or something and i love mixing and matching that with different bottoms so I think these are excellent for that. Um, I know when I find something that like fits me really well and I feel great in it, I just want to mix and match it or pair different tops with different bottoms. So I think these will really play nicely with all the other suits in your closet. They're made up in New York at the factory that we've worked with forever and ever, and we begged them to do bathing suits for us, and they did. And they're just, they're great. We, this last, these last couple weeks have been so busy with everyone adjusting to summer schedules and kids and camps and like whatever everyone's traveling and then we shot this and then we did an underwater shoot which was um like i wish we had a documentary about the underwater shoot because it was just such a classic state production where like so many things <laughs> went wrong and we were just like having a great time and, but um 
Anyways, we were back in the office a couple days later editing stuff and laughing at how bad some of these underwater pictures were. Oh, Someone, no. one of our models just looked like she was in like a cryogenic tank, <laughs> like <laughs> just floating. But anyways, it was really cool because at one point I said to Abby, I was like, wait, we haven't even high-fived that we actually pulled this off. Like we finally made bathing suits. And, it's pretty But cool. things were moving at such a fast pace that we didn't really celebrate. Like we usually take time to like celebrate our wins and pulling stuff off. Um, so. We still haven't really done it. Abby. <laughs> it, it did. It happened. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right.